Hey, boaters, it's Jim from Ray Marine. I am here with Matt Kazakis. He's our applications engineer for digital switching products. We've been looking at the YachtSense Link Marine Router. Now, Matt, I hear one of the cool capabilities this system has is the ability to control digital inputs and outputs. What are some of the things we can do with that? Yeah, so the YachtSense Link has four inputs and four outputs. Um, the inputs are for monitoring things like uh, voltage, um, digitally on, digitally off. So anything that's normally open, normally closed, like a contact closure. Oh, it's like maybe security type stuff? Correct, yep. And then you have your output. So we have a 200 milliamp maximum output across all four channels. So using an automotive relay, you can drive anything you'd want to turn off, like lights, a pump, a bait well, anything. Okay, now you mentioned an automotive relay. Where do you get something like that? Ah, uh, any one of your automotive stores. Okay, like yeah. auto parts store, Correct. AutoZone, whatever, O'Reilly's. And they look, I guess, something like that. Exactly. All right, pretty yeah. simple. So you can control all sorts of types of things with a little device like that. So I imagine there's a little bit of configuration to get one of these set up. I've heard it's pretty easy. Can you tell us where to go? Yeah, so to set up the Yachtsense Link IOs, you do that from your configuration page. So right from your chart plotter, go to the right-hand top corner, you'll see yep, Yachtsense Link, little picture of the router right there. Click on Yachtsense Link, and then you're going to go to the advanced settings. Advanced settings. All yep. right. And then we want to select input outputs, and then we want to select channel configuration. Okay. So here are your four inputs and your four outputs. Um, we've already set them up, but we'll show you. So for example, on your input channel one, if you select edit, um, here's where you're going to get all your options. You enable the channel, disable the channel. You don't have to have them all on. You would name it. And here's where you would select voltage or digitally, um, digitally open, normally open, normally closed. Um, and then you get your options. Okay, yep, yep. I see some different options in there. Yep, and those that's for your input. And then if you go ahead and um, select your output and hit edit, um, really, this is just on or off. This is where you would name it, so enable it, name it, and save. And if I give it a name here, that is going to pop up on my app, Correct. for example, right? It's going to show up on the app. Okay, so yep. I know exactly what that circuit is or what you know, whether it's lights or... Correct, yep. Courtesy lights, strip whatever light, whatever, yep. Okay, pretty cool. So um, do you have an example of this? Is there? Yeah, so if you go to the channel monitoring and control right there, um, we can go ahead and flip on channel five. So that's right. wired right to this little these little LED strips right here. Let me uh, change the view here so they can see what we're doing. And here, we'll flip this back around. Yeah. All right, so with channel, you said channel five is the one. Yep, channel five. So if I click it on here. Oh yeah, look at that. You see we got strip lighting across the top and that is being controlled through the YachtSense link. Now, can you control that from your end? Yeah, so also from the app, you can see, we can see that the channel has been turned on and I can also turn it off. That's pretty cool. And then with the premium subscription, I think that Brian told us about earlier too, you can do that off the boat, right? Correct, yep. You'll be able to access those IOs remotely. That's pretty cool. So if there's something you want to be able to control when you're sitting at home or in the office or if you want to look at or monitor. Yeah, yeah, monitor something. That's a pretty powerful capability, all in this little box. And it doesn't require a full tilt digital switching system, though it works with that. Correct. Well. Yep. Very cool. Well, if you're interested in getting YachtSense Link and some digital connectivity on board your boat, head on over to raymarine.com. You can find out all the details about it. You can also talk to your local Raymarine dealer. They'd be happy to show you how to make the most of this technology on board your boat. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.